Hi there, I'm Jake from Support Team. You've probably already heard the latest news. Recently, the world's largest email provider, Google, informed us that it has decided to part ways with all automated warm-up services for their email accounts. Why? Well, Google now deems this automatic warm-up process a violation of their terms and wants it disabled for good. Long story short, along with all fellow cold email tools, we'll no longer be able to provide automated warm-up and recovery to our Gmail users. The change will come into force on the 6th of February 2023, meaning that any ongoing warm-up and recovery for email addresses or domains from Google will be automatically switched off on our end. Can we do something about it? Unfortunately, there is no way around it. Not complying with Google's policy is not an option. We'd be risking losing our Gmail API access, so we are definitely staying on Google's good side and following their orders. The good news is that you can still warm up your domain or email address. The only difference is that you won't be able to do it automatically anymore. We know it is not a perfect solution, as manual warm up is time consuming. However, it can be equally effective as an automatic one. Here is a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to properly conduct this process. Step one is to set up a new domain. Don't set up email accounts on a fresh domain yet. Wait a month before you add the first one. Step two is to configure your domain. Firstly, you should take care of the mail exchange record, which is necessary to receive emails. Following this, set up the SPF and DKIM records, as these are crucial in the sending process in terms of your deliverability. Step three is to set up one or more email accounts on your domain if you want to have some backup ones. Next, step four, configure the email accounts. Set up the from line and a signature for each of them. Step five is to start sending a handful of emails every day. You should not be sending within a couple of days from registering the domain. Best case scenario would be to give your new domain around a month before the first email is sent. Keep it low at first, sending just a few emails each day. Gradually increase the sending volume every couple of days. Send to trusted recipients, such as your other email addresses or simply someone you know. The most important aspect of warming up is to ensure that your messages land in the main inbox and are not flagged as spam. Ideally, you will also receive replies to your messages, as this validates you as a sender, hence building the reputation. Use safe content and avoid any salesy language or phrases, which can be considered spammy. The sending volume, frequency and content are what really matters in terms of reputation building throughout the whole three months of the domain warm-up. The final step of the process is a test campaign in Woodpecker, so log in and send your first automated email campaign. You are going to need between 20 and 30 email addresses that will not reject your message, ideally providing you with replies as well. It is important to use mailboxes from different providers in order to check your overall reputation. And that's it. To sum up, a domain needs some time to get ready for outbound email campaigns. Usually, it should take around three months. Don't rush the process, because even the age of the domain itself matters here. Keep in mind that every new email account set on a warm and old domain still requires up to a month of warm-up. Focus on a gradual increase in the sending volume, which is a good deliverability tip also for your future cold mailing practices. If you have any questions about the warm-up process or the changes we are all facing right now, feel free to comment on this video or contact our support team. And if you want to dive a bit deeper into the details of the warm-up process, check out the video description. We've shared a few links to blog posts and articles which might prove useful to you.